Hello, I've been using missing letter for my business for quite a while. So I thought I would make this video and I would go over how you can also use this app for your business. I find it's a really great way for me to grow my social media presence and you can actually do this in an automated way. So if you're interested in this, hopefully you will watch this video. After watching the video, if you're interested in trying it out for yourself, I will leave my affiliate link in the description of this video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So in the top left hand side of the screen, you will see this blue rectangle that says make money bro in it right now. I would recommend that the first thing that you do is you click on that and you go to add workspace and I would add a new workspace for any of the brands or the businesses that you would like to use this for, it really helps to separate everything out. Once you have done that, you need to set up a social profile. So if you go into the settings here and you can see there's another blue button in the top right hand side, if you just click on that and it will show all of the, of the different options for the different social networks that you can use here and it's actually really easy to do that i've already connected a twitter account or i should say an x account here um, if you go back to the dashboard so it does have this button on the right hand side at the top of the dashboard where it says create posts this is a very vanilla way of manually posting so if you see in the bottom right hand side there's a plus button if you go to post here this is how you can like manually post but i don't really use this app for that what i use it for is the campaigns so this is really good for repurposing any blog posts videos anything that you have that you would like to repurpose into content for social media so for example again after i have clicked on um the the campaign tab there's again the the plus button in the bottom right hand side here so if i was to click on that then it will allow me to enter the the url here so for example i have this um this review article here so if i own this and if i i wanted to turn this into a lot of content for social media then i would simply grab the url i would go back to missing letter and i would add it here then i will go to next and then you can see that there's an option of making an empty campaign if you want to make the content yourself, but I will usually go to auto campaign. And as you can see, there's a lot of options even within that from a two week blast right up to a 12 month evergreen set of posts. And each of these is a, a set of social posts. I really like the evergreen ones if you have any any content that you think is always relevant or year round. I think the evergreen options are really good. Anyway, so after you have chosen what you would like, and then it will base basically go off in the background and it, and it will set it up. However, I already set this up earlier um, because it usually takes a good like four or five, or five minutes and I, I didn't want you guys to have to wait around so this is the the exact same campaign that I have here in the drafts and then when you see it in the drafts if you, if you just go to set up campaign and then essentially this is where you will um, go through all of the content and basically decide the content that it has pulled uh, from the article what you'd like it to use so first of all you can ask um, you can choose the hashtags that you would like to use it will 
suggest some. You can also search for some that you would like as well if you want. Um, the green stars will show how relevant it is for this content. Um, if there's any here that you are not interested in, if you just click on the, the delete icon, then it will get rid of it again. There you go. So after you have chosen your hashtags, you can then choose the media. It's like I said, it's basically pulled all of the things from the blog post. I would say that you have to be very, very careful that, you know, the, the images that you select are only those that will work well on social media. So after you have chosen those, you can also then choose the quotes. So it has basically gone through the article and it has chosen a load of quotes that it thinks it is, uh, that it thinks are important and could be used on social media. So it doesn't add all of them. It only adds the one at the top that it thinks are the best. However, in my experience, it's very important that you read through these and only um, keep the ones that you think would work as a social media post. If there's any that you think aren't very good for whatever reason, then again, if you just click on the delete icon on the right hand side, then it will just vanish. Yep, so after you have chosen all of the quotes that you would like, then it's on to reviewing all of the, the posts. So there's a, a button on the bottom left here. And if, if you click that, um, you will basically um, then have, have to go through and review all, all of the, the content. So it will ask you, it actually says at the top that it, well, it highly encourages you to check all of the posts in the sequence, making sure that they are good and that you like them. And if that is the case, then you just go to, to launch campaign. So like I said, I would say this is the main thing I, use on here I would basically set up maybe five or six campaigns that are based on various articles off of a website I own and then I would just you know the the social posting that is taken from that would be more than enough for you to have like a post every day on social media media and then of course any time that you have any new content then you just make one of these for each of those and in absolutely no time you will have a lot of posts on social media and um, one of the things I really like is if you go to analytics here it will basically show you all of the the posts like the the performance how many people have clicked uh, the link in the social posts. So I find that this information is really good. Obviously at the moment, this uh, work space doesn't have any data because it's a new one, but after you have sent out a couple of campaigns and have, have waited a couple of weeks, this is a really, really good way for you to see the, the kind of campaigns or the kind of posts that are getting engagement and it also shows where where the clicks are coming from in terms of the country so i really like the analytics here as well so yeah i would say that's the main thing i use this for they also have this thing which is called curate and on that you can basically find other people's content that you would like to share on social media so if you have a bit of a dry spell where you don't have a lot of your own content for you to share, then it this could be a good way for you to find content. If you go into the, the cog item, 
the cog icon on the right hand side here that is for the settings and you basically in there have to make sure that all of the categories and the topics and the language and the countries where your customers are based that you have all of this correctly set up right and then when you're happy with that then you go to save and it will basically then only show you the content which is related with that um, you also have some icons here in the top right hand side so you can you can basically choose one of the topics that is in the settings that you had just made so that it only shows things from that topic you can also use these icons here so that it will only show you audio or video or blog posts right um, and then when you find something here that you're interested in sharing it's really easy you just hover over and there's a share button and then it basically is giving you the option of editing the post which I would highly recommend that you do it every time and if you're happy you go to schedule um, you can also use this to promote your own content so if you have have content that you think is high quality you can basically add it in here in the under the promote tab and then this is one of the ways that you can actually get eyeballs on your own content uh, one of the one of the other things I'll say is a little pro tip that I use anyway if you go in the settings I really like under the posting under the the date and times I think it is yeah basically they have this option of automatic time slots so basically it will work out from the other campaigns that you have sent when is the best time for you to post and it has an algorithm so I find that is really really helpful another thing that you should note is that by default if you go to the URL shortener by default it will use the in-house um, shortener this LTTR but as you can see you can also choose other ones so if you own another shortener that you prefer or if you think that the link from another shortener it looks a bit better then it's easy for you to do that here so essentially that is all of the ways that I use this app I really like it I've seen some really good success and really good growth on social media if you have any specific questions about this app you can leave them in the comments section so thank you for watching